What I'm about to show you in this video is going to give you the power to be able to gain muscle or get shredded whenever you want. Not at the same time though, because that's just not possible. There are so many weird and wonderful diets that have been created. You've got the paleo diet, you've got the Atkins diet, you've got keto diet, you've even got Weight Watchers. But at the end of the day, they are all the same. Through different methods, they just make you eat less calories than your body needs so that you lose weight. Nine times out of 10 though, they will do it by restricting something. So for example, the Atkins diet, restricts carbs. You take away carbs, means you take away some calories, and therefore, you lose weight. Despite what it says in their marketing and all that they say about changing body chemistry and your hormones and all that sort of thing, it's just not necessarily true. It is just a way of reducing your calories in order for you to lose weight. There is no special or amazing foods that are gonna help you lose or gain weight. It is just purely down to your calorie intake. So, whether you're trying to lose weight or gain muscle, your body only understands one thing, and that is converting calories into energy. Once you master that, you'll be able to gain muscle and burn fat at will. Simple. Should be. Now, before you run off with this new information, you need to understand that there is a big difference between healthy eating and weight management. Two very different things. Now it goes without saying that certain foods are certainly healthier than others. So, for example, this apple is healthier than this donut, but does it actually make a difference which one you eat when it comes to losing or gaining weight? So let me explain. Here, I have an apple and a donut. Despite the difference in size, they are both 80 calories. So, if I ate the donut, would I put on weight? And if I ate the apple, would I be more likely to lose weight? Well, the answer is there'd be absolutely no difference. They're both 80 calories. So the results would be exactly the same. So controlling your weight isn't entirely down to how much you eat, but more to the calorie content of what you eat. Why do you think people eat salads to try and lose weight? is because you can eat a lot of it to feel full, but yet still be consuming a low amount of calories. Now the same is also true for when you're trying to gain weight, i.e. put on muscle, is you can have high calorie foods, but yet keep the volume fairly low. So we seem to have two issues when it comes to weight management. The first issue is, people who are trying to put on weight, I'm talking to you hard gainers, you will struggle because you are struggling to eat a high volume, a high amount of food in order to put on weight. And for people who are trying to lose weight, they're struggling because they're eating a small amount of food so are always feeling hungry. So for both issues, the solution is actually simple. Volume. For losing weight, you need to find low calorie foods and you can eat lots of it. And for gaining weight, you need to find high calorie foods and you may even find that you can eat less of it. But how do you know where to start? How do you know what foods are high in calories and what foods are low in calories? Now I can't really sit here and go through all the foods because that would just take forever and also don't know what foods you like so wouldn't be that helpful. Best thing to do will be to list your favourite foods and to look at what their calorie content is. This is just an example, these aren't actual real figures. And if you're trying to lose weight, then find lower calorie alternatives. So for example, here we have this cheese, which is 125 calories for 30 grams. And we also have this cheese, which is 100 calories for 30 grams. Now, if you're trying to lose weight, use this cheese. And if you want to gain weight, use this cheese. Simple. That is a perfect example where you don't actually have to eat more in order to put on weight and you don't necessarily have to eat less to lose weight either. It is purely down to the calories that you consume. Having said that, obviously eating less is typically going to be less calories. So if we look at a pizza for example, if you cut it in half and only eat half of it, it's going to be less calories than if you eat the whole thing. So, you know, 
use your noggin. Now obviously if you are looking to lose weight and your method is to eat less rather than lower calorie foods, then it's gonna mean that you are gonna feel hungry and then you're gonna have cravings and when you're hungry the things that you wanna eat typically are high in calories, you know, high fat content, chocolate, sweets, all these sorts of things. So if you're trying to lose weight and your only method is that you're gonna eat less, then it's probably gonna be very hard to stick to. So how do you know the calorie content of the foods that you wanna eat and how do you check it? Well, one way in which you can do it, which you probably know already, is you can simply look on the back of a packet it should say the calorie content, but bearing in mind that more often than not, it's based on per 100 grams rather than the entire thing, so make sure that you are aware that if it is per 100 grams, you then need to look to do a bit of maths really and work out what the calories would be if you ate the whole thing. Another way you can do it is you can just jump on the internet, you can Google it, you can go on Bing, you can ask Jeeves. Ask Jeeves, is ask Jeeves even still a thing? How many calories? in an entire pepperoni pizza. Oh my. The other way that you can check and even track is you can use an app called MyFitnessPal. Now, a lot of you have probably already heard of the app before. I will put the symbol on the screen now. Amazing. And what you can basically do is you just go to add a food and you can search pretty much any food that you will come across. So whether you're in a restaurant, buying it in a supermarket, or just the standard fruit and veg that you would bag up yourself, it will be in that app, I can almost guarantee it, and then you can find out exactly how many calories, how much protein, how much fat, how much carbs, pretty much all the macronutrients you would need to find out, and you can also keep a track of it. So I cannot recommend the app enough. enough. It is completely free, so what have you got to lose? If you go and download the app, you'll see how easy it is, and this isn't a plug at all or anything, I just personally use it and it's helped me out massively so go ahead and download that now so basically losing and gaining weight isn't about how much or how little you eat it's all about your calorie content don't restrict what you're eating and also don't force feed yourself just make smarter decisions thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video I genuinely hope you found it useful and it's going to help you on your fitness journey. If you have made it this far and you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button to see more content just like this. It doesn't cost you anything, it is free, it just supports the channel. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.